Savannah, where you wanna go? Look, there's a fish! Oh my goodness! A typical day for me and Makana and Alika is anything but typical. Ooh, there's a puffin! You just got fish guts in my eye. That was really impressive, thank you. My name is Nikki Odoricio, and I get to take care of our birds at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Makana and Alika are both based on albatross. Everything I do in my day is for these girls to make sure they have the best life possible. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm such a weird bird lady. My life's gone to the birds, but I love it. All right, sweet pea, you ready? Spin. Good. Makana and Alika both live with us because they have injuries that prevent them from flying. Out in the wild, lace on albatross travel for thousands of miles every year over vast distances of ocean looking for food. Without the ability to fly, neither of them would survive in the wild on their own. Working with Makana and Lika is an unbelievable gift, but it's also a big challenge. Girl. We want to make sure that each day is different and fun for our birds. Good girl, Makana. All right. Let's go check out some cool stuff. Since neither one of these girls are able to fly and travel is so important for this species, we have trained Makana and are working on training Alika to get on a cart that we can wheel around the aquarium. Being on that cart and traveling around gives Makana and Alika the sensation of travel, even if it's not a flight. You can imagine a fish-eating bird thinks the aquarium is a pretty exciting place. <laughs> They can live over 60 years in the wild, so she's still really young. My favorite thing to do with Makana and Alika, and there are lots of favorites, but my number one favorite thing is the fact that I get to share their story with our guests here at the aquarium. Lace on albatross are typically thousands and thousands of miles away from the nearest humans, but our decisions can and do impact them. Plastic pollution is a big problem for lace on albatross in the wild. These birds like to sit on the top of the water and pluck squid near the surface, and more and more, that squid's being replaced by plastic. By making small changes, like skipping a straw at a restaurant, using a reusable bag instead of a plastic bag, don't mean a lot to us, but it means the world of difference to their survival out in the wild. Lace on albatross are majestic animals, and it's really hard to meet one and not immediately fall in love and want to protect them.